Welcome to another episode of Donuts with Calvin. Excuse me a second. We're gonna start by actually going back to the roadside in time. This was quite a splash when it was introduced. It was a big deal. We took a brake lever. The engineers put in a shift lever. Integrated together, very interesting at that time. Someone thought, oh, let's do it on the mountain bike side. So on the mountain bike side, sure enough, there's some brake lever, but watch this one. It is also a shift lever. Yeah, kind of fun. Now, we can see that if we gaze upon the glaze, as in the donut of the shift cable, shift cable donut, moving, 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 moving. But the middle's not the interesting part. We want, again, this week, the chocolate donut. That is back here at the rear. If I pull on the cable, we can watch the donut and see the motion. If I pull, this thing's shifting outward to those little sprockets, the harder gear ratios. If I release the cable, wait a minute, this is shifting inward to the easy gears, those big sprockets. Wait a minute, isn't that backwards? What is this thing? It's the rapid rise derailleur system from Shimano. No longer available, but I appreciate what they were trying. Let's have a look at how it works. Let's talk about the adjustment. It's really pretty much the same. B screw is going to be the same. The limit screws, same concept. It stops at the innermost and outermost. It is the cable setting that varies. So here we have to remember first, learn how something works. Then we can plot our adjustment adventure. When we pull the cable, pull the cable tighter, it's moving outward. The pulley, when I relax the cable, moves inward. Let's apply that to some shifting. I'm going to shift out, 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 out. It's doing pretty good. I relax the cable, it shifts in, in, in. What could be some problems? Let's go ahead and mess this up on purpose. Look at that. That is a lot more out. We've added more length, more tension. Let's see how this shifts. One click got me two sprockets. That's not appropriate. One click moves me all the way back. This is too much. We have overshot the adjustment. I need that extra one in between. I'm going to go back in. That is pretty much where we were. It seems to work OK. Let's go slackness. We're now shooting to slacken the system. We'll start all the way slack. One click does not get us one gear. Listen, there's my click, no gear. A second click, I did get my gear, but it's gonna be messing up down at the bottom. I'm out of clicks because I wasted one at the top. I'm gonna put it back where it was. So again, moving this, adjust the pulley position underneath the sprocket that aspect is the same. What's the trick? Here was a rapid rise on the left and a traditional model on the right. Both have a return spring, but note where they are attached. It's been reversed on the rapid rise. Why would they offer such a system? To me, it's to eliminate, as much as possible, the human factor from the shift understand what I mean, we got to go back to our roots, friction shifting. With friction shifting, the human is very much in the mix. You must feel and listen for the gear. With the index shifting, certainly less human factor involved, but absolutely still there, especially on those shift to the larger sprockets, the hard one for the derailleur to make. Why is that? Because of the hand motion, your hand, my hand, that rider down the trail were all a bit different. The strength, the speed, 
the style of the shift definitely affects how it's gonna operate. Rapid Rise is trying to eliminate that. That tricky shift to those larger sprockets on the release mode is much more consistent across all humans. So much so, I consider this an early move toward electronic shifting, where those human peculiarities we're trying to eliminate. That is why Rapid Rise has made donuts with Calvin. Do you think the human factor should be eliminated from the bike, from your shifting? What's your favorite donut? Tell us those things in those comments below on Donuts with Calvin. Thank you.